in today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a new Facebook pixel and add it to your website. I will also show you the steps you need to follow to set everything up properly so that you can use it to accurately track the performance of your Facebook ads. So just go to your ads manager. Here, click on all tools, then click on business settings. Right here, select data sources. Now, the option you want to go for is data set. Previously, to create a new Facebook pixel, you go to pixels and then set everything up from here, but that has changed. Right now, you go to data sets and from here, you can create a new data set by clicking on add. Then you can give this data set a name. You can use any name. So I'll just use landing page data sets as a name, then click on create. Now I'll just try to refresh and you can see the new data set we just created is showing up right here. Basically, at this point, you've successfully created your new Facebook pixel. The next step is to go ahead and install it on your website, online store, landing page, or anywhere you need to use it. So I have this landing page I'm going to use to show you how it works. And I created this landing page with WordPress, so I'll show you the steps specifically for WordPress. But regardless of the platform you are using for your website, the process of installing a Facebook pixel is pretty much very simple. Just select the data set, then click on this three dots menu, then select open in event manager. Right here, just go ahead and click on set up meta pixel. There are two main ways to add your Facebook pixel to your website. You can either get your pixel code and then add it to the header section of your site, or you can use a plugin. Facebook has plugins for platforms like Shopify, WordPress, and other popular e-commerce platforms. So you can just install that plugin on your website and then connect to your Facebook account. Both methods work very fine, but generally I prefer the code option. So I'll just select install code manually. Don't worry, you don't need to know how to code. You don't even need to understand what the code is all about. Just click copy code to copy your pixel code. Now, if you're working with WordPress or WooCommerce, just open your WordPress dashboard, then go to plugins, select add new plugin, use this search box to search for WP code. That's the name of the plugin we are going to use to add our pixel code to our website. There's a plugin right here, WP code with over 2 million active installations. Just go ahead and install it then activate it immediately. Now you see the code snippets option on your WordPress menu. Come over here and then select header and footer. Paste your pixel code in the header section. Click save changes. And as simple as that, you successfully installed your Facebook pixel on your website. So you can see that the process is actually very simple. And I know there are people who use other platforms that is not WordPress for their website. So if there's any other platform you want me to make a video on how to add your Facebook pixel, just let me know in the comment section. Once you've added the code to your website, just go back to your Facebook events manager. Right here, we are done with step one, which is copy the code, and step two, which is to add code to your website header. That's what we just did right here. Now just go ahead and click continue. Here, I'm going to turn on automatic advanced matching Click continue. The goal of installing a Facebook pixel on your website is so that you'll be able to measure specific events when running ads to the website. So you would like to know the number of people that viewed a particular page, the number of people that clicked a particular button, the number of people that initiated checkout and all of those kind of stuff. And being able to measure those events will allow you to do some very interesting stuff when optimizing your campaigns and also when creating retargeting ads. So you can use this event setup tool to select specific events you would like to track with this pixel. Right here, I'll just click on add events and then paste your website URL. I'll just copy the URL of my landing page, paste it right here, and then click add events. That will open the event setup tool on your website. Now, here, I want to track three buttons on this page, the sign up button, the buy now button, and the pay now button. To track a button, just click on track new button 
on the event setup tool, or if you want to track a specific URL, just click on track a URL. I'll select track new button, then select the first button, which is this sign up button. Anybody that comes to this page, enter their first name and email address. Once they click on sign up now, they become my lead and join my email list. So I want Facebook to be able to recognize this event as a lead event. So I'll select this button. The next step is to select the event type. And if you open this, you will see the different options I have, add to cart, initiate checkout, lead or purchase. The event for me on this button is lead. So I'll select lead. Then you can add a monetary value to the event, but I'll choose don't include value and then click confirm. Now you can see that I have one event that I'm tracking on this page, which is the lead event. But then I have this buy now button, which is to initiate checkout. Anybody who clicks on this button is trying to buy something. So I want to select this button as the initiate checkout event. So I'll click on track new button, select the buy now button, and then for the event, I'll select initiate checkout. But if it's an add to cart button, you can select add to cart, or if it's a purchase button, you can select purchase. Just select the appropriate event for your own case. Here, I'm going to select initiate checkout, and then also select don't include value, and click confirm. The last button I'm going to track on this page is this pay now button. Assuming that this is a button, somebody will click to buy my product. So again, track new button, select this button, and then use purchase. Usually for the purchase event, you want to include the value of the product the customer is about to buy. But since I did not add any value to the page, I'll just use don't include value. But assuming that you have the price of the product showing up somewhere on the page, you can select choose value on page and then just select the price. But for now, let me use don't include value and then click confirm. And once you are done with all the important events on your page, just go ahead and click on finish setup, click finish. And I'll just keep back on Facebook. We can test the events we have to see if everything is working properly. Select confirm your website events are set up correctly. Paste your website URL. I'll just get that from here. Then click paste. Then click on test events. Now, let's say if I click on the sign up down button, remember that this particular button is a lead event. So if I click on it and let's go to event manager, you can see that we we'll have one lead, a page view, subscribe button click, but this is the custom event we created, which is lead. Also, if I click on maybe the buy now button, you can see initiate checkout event was registered. And then for the third button, if I click on pay now, you see that the purchase event was recorded. So everything is working perfectly. Now that we have everything in place, the next step is to connect your ad account to this pixel so that you have access to use it when setting up your ads. Just come over to all tools again, go to business settings, and then data sources, select data sets, select the pixel we are working with, then click connect assets, add other business assets, select your ad account. This step is very important because even after creating your pixel, if you don't connect it to your ad account, you will not be able to use it for your ads. So after selecting the ad account, click on add. Now let me try to set up a new campaign to see if we did everything correctly. I'll go to all tools, click on ads manager, and then click on create to start a new campaign. Let's say I'm creating a lead campaign. Click continue, use the manual option, continue, set up your campaign, then click on next. For the conversion location, I'll use website. That will be this website where I just installed the Facebook pixel and then click next. For the ad setup, if I just scroll down to tracking, select website events, you see that the new pixel I created is showing up right here, landing page, data sets, and I'll be able to use it to track the events 
for my art and that's basically it guys i hope you found this video helpful if you have any questions just drop them in the comment section i'll be there answering your questions thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one